Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. This is my post-match review after Spurs lost at home. 1-0 to Leicester. It was second place against fourth place. Uh, I've just done the fan cams, check them out. To be honest, I've been a bit angry and I don't know, I'm, I'm not totally sure whether, am I angry at Spurs or am I angry at, my, at myself for believing? Uh, starting to believe or starting to let myself believe that maybe we could get in the, you know, in the top two, top three. Tonight is another example, as the Newcastle game was, that if we get ahead of ourselves, then it's going to come back and haunt us. I think, you know, I've said it, but I think Leicester absolutely will have loved how that game panned out tonight. Because if we don't score early on and make the game get stretched, it's just playing into Ranieri's hands. Ranieri just gets them so drilled, they're so narrow all the time. Every time we got down the left with Ben Davis, we looked dangerous. Every single time. So why aren't we doing it more? It must happen four or five times. You've got to expand on that. You've got to make that happen more. I can't say particularly that I felt every, anyone had a, a, a real stinker today for Spurs. I don't think Tom Carroll was the right pick for the, today's game. Uh, you know, against Everton, I absolutely waxed lyrical against, uh, about Tom Carroll. It was great because he had all the space in the world. But today, he was fighting for second balls in the midfield. If, if you see that Tom Carroll is going to be fighting for second balls in the midfield, headers, volleys, etc., you can't have him on the pitch. You just can't. I'm sorry, Tom. I think you're a really good player technically. So gifted. So gifted. But when you're fighting for second balls like that, you're losing those second balls. It's, it's as simple as that. Now, Ryan Mason is injured. Dembele's just come back from fitness. So maybe uh, Pochettino's hands are tied. But, you know, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think Bentaleb would have won a few more of those second balls? I think he would have done. Anyway, uh, as well as that, I have to say Leicester, you know, they, in my mind, and I don't, you know, maybe you'll all get mad, I felt they deserved it. They suckered us in, they suckered us in, hit us on set pieces. They know that we're conceding goals from set pieces all season. I don't know what's happening. Are we man to man? Are we zonal? Whatever we're doing, it's not quite working. Got to take more responsibility. There was one occasion where I saw Tom Carroll marking Robert Huth today, and you can't tell me that's right. Because Tom, uh, Robert Huth is six foot four, six foot five. Tom Carroll is five foot four, and I'm not even exaggerating. That can't be right. So can we be surprised when they score a winner from a corner? I don't think we can. I really don't. The quicker Moussa Dembele can be fit and back in the team, the better. He's been our rock all season. He's been absolutely amazing. I thought the defence played pretty well today. Felt for Kyle Walker. He tried a couple of things, nearly gave away a goal, didn't come off. Crowd were getting on his back a little bit. He's just got to kick it out. If anyone has to learn off Toby Alderweireld, it's Kyle Walker. There are times where you just have to kick it into Rose Ed. You just have to kick it into Rose Ed. So, guys, it's a devastating defeat. Completely devastating. We had a chance. Other teams around us are dropping points. But let's try and be positive. We are where we are. We're in fourth place. If we just nick one of those goals, the Harry Kane chance, Lamella's two chances at the back stick, one of those goals would have changed the game, opened it up, Leicester's tactics and style would have been destroyed, they'd have had to come at us. And who knows, could have been a different game, we could be going home tonight absolutely ecstatic. But, phew, Jesus, so devastating, so devastating. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole you need a striker thing, I'm really not. I don't think we're making enough chances for Harry Kane as it is. If we make him five or six chances a game and he's missing all of them, then I can happily say to you, yeah, he's tired, he needs help, but we're not. He's doing a lot of donkey work for not a lot of chances from his, from his teammates. But anyway, I try not to be too negative, but oh, just it had such a feeling of inevitability tonight. Absolutely devastated, absolutely gutted. Uh, let us know what you thought went wrong in the comments section below. Try and be positive if you can, more positive than me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at TV. Come on, you Spurs.